hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here my name is summer i make videos every friday today i'm doing another makeup look i'm doing kind of like a neutral holiday glam look today so if you guys are interested in how i created this look then please keep on watching all right so i already um prepped my face and primed already and then i sprayed a little bit of my milani's make it last uh setting spray and then I already bought my makeup blender. I need to buy a new foundation because I ran out of that Wet n Wild foundation. I spilled it all over the floor. So uh, all I have to use today is my Dream BB Pure BB Cream. So I'm going to apply this. It is a little bit dark for my skin right now because I need to spray tan one more time. But I will make this work. So I'm just going to put a little bit on top of this little canister that I have. And uh, you know what? Actually, I apply a little bit of concealer before I um, go in with my little BB cream because I am breaking out a little bit, as you can see, like right here. And, you know, I just have a couple spots here and there. It's not bad, but um, the mask, you know, makes me break out pretty bad. So I am going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. This is my Milani's Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade 115 Light Nude. Actually, I'm going to take this little concealer brush. This is from the brand Luxie. It's a 245 small shader brush, but I'm going to use it to conceal my little redness around my mouth and my face the weather has been pretty weird here um, in the Outer Banks like some days it's like 50 degrees 40 degrees and other days it is um, like dry skin on my face and other days it's like 65 70 and my skin is going crazy usually I have like combination oily skin but lately I don't know it's been like dry oily like just a combination I don't know that was the day all right so I spot concealed a little bit I'm gonna do just a little bit more around my mouth I wash my masks every day, but I think I just sweat so bad that um, I get acne. Within wearing it within like the first hour of wearing my mask, I get really bad acne. But um, still gonna wear it. <laughs> I have reusable masks that I wear that I bought from Target that I love so much, but I don't know. It just makes me break out so bad. If you hear my husband in the background, he's playing video games, even though I told him, like, not to do it while I'm recording. So, if you hear that, excuse, excuse my husband. See how dark this is? Like, it won't be as dark once I, like, blend it out. But it usually matches me so good when I spray tan. I'm gonna take my earrings off because I forgot to... I hope everyone is having a good week so far. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. I am actually recording this on Friday. I've been super MIA lately because I went to visit family down in Florida. So um, I recorded a couple of vlogs uh, before I left, but I just ended up not liking the footage, like, you know, that I had. So I was like, you know, I'll just record a video when I get back. And then I've been back for, like I said, like two weeks now and I just haven't been recording. I did record another video, another vlog, and I didn't like that either. So I was like, I'll just make a little um, makeup video since you guys seem to really enjoy my last one. I was like, I'll just make another one. <laughs> but um, I am doing a, like a little holiday makeup look today. I usually do more full coverage for holidays, but need to buy purchase some more foundation so the foundation that I love so much is from wet and wild and it's like four dollars three or four dollars depending on where you buy it from and I love it so much you can build it's like super buildable and it's for like combination skin well I mean it's for all skin types so 
whether you have dry oily combination like it works on all skin types and a lot of um, makeup artists use it because like it's just so cheap and it works on everyone's skin so I really enjoy that foundation I've tried so many like high-end and um, drugstore foundation and I just really enjoy that wet n wild photo focus foundation like it's so good and it lasts all day um, another foundation that I really like is from bare minerals it's a liquid like full coverage foundation um I can't find it I had it in my cabinet downstairs where I usually store my makeup but I don't know where it went I don't know if my Ella threw it somewhere because I can't find it anywhere. Oops, I forgot my nose. Let me do that really quick. How do you forget your nose somewhere? I'm like chatting away, not even thinking. And I like forgot the sides of my ears. <laughs> I wear my ear, my hair behind my ears a lot, so I always make sure I get my ears because um, I'll usually forget to uh, put spray tan on my ears. All right, so once this is blended in, it looks really nice and not too dark. So I'm gonna go in with my Milani concealer and I put a little bit under my eyes right here and a little bit on my forehead, my nose. It was so weird being back home in Florida. I'm glad that we visited. I had fun and um, I got to see a lot of family. We haven't, I haven't been, well, we haven't been to Florida since Christmas last year. So almost a year. And, you know, it was really nice to see my family and, well, our family. It was really nice to see everybody and a couple friends. Um, I was really nervous to go down to Florida because of COVID, obviously, and I wasn't going to go because um, I was going to wait till there was like a vaccine out. Not that I'm getting the vaccine, and I'm not really going to go into that right now, but um, I was going to wait because I just, the cases are so high down in Florida, and especially where our family lives, and um, I just, you know, I don't, it's so, if you have a child, you know, it's so hard to watch your children uh, get sick and luckily we have not got sick this far um, Jesus has really been protecting us through this whole pandemic and I'm really thankful that we haven't gotten sick yet but um, yeah I wasn't gonna go but I did anyways because I I'm a stay-at-home mom and as you guys know and I just had nothing going on and I was like, you know what? Let me go drive. Ella and I, it took us like, I split up in the two days because it was so hard for me to do it the first night. It was so hard for me to do it by myself. I was going to drive through the night and that did not work out. I had like four mental breakdowns because Ella kept waking up and crying because she didn't understand where we were. She usually, if she falls asleep in the car, um, I'll usually like transfer her into the bed But she got waking up and she was really like just upset and not happy that we were in the car So that didn't work out. I my mom uh, was kind enough to get me a hotel and I um, I stayed in a hotel and I left I got like four hours of sleep Which is better than none and I left and then I got there around like 6 30 p.m. The next day. I think I left originally like the first day around uh like 7 p.m or yeah i think it was 6 30 or 7 but yeah it just i don't know why i thought i could do that by myself but you know we made it we made it there safe and um i'm glad that i didn't do it through the night because i don't think that i would have made it and um you know it's just not safe to drive through the night and I wasn't going into the restrooms because I didn't want to bring Ella because of COVID and um, just it's not safe to stop at gas stations at night. So I was like peeing in a cup like you guys, it was a hot mess. So I mean, even with the sunshine, like when I drove through the day, I didn't even go inside gas stations because of COVID anyways. So, and Ella, you know, 
so I still peed in a cup on the way there. So, I don't know. I would never drive by myself with Ella ever again. I don't recommend it. But I do recommend, if you ever like do do it, to um, buy, invest in a good DVD player for the car. Because she, I bought, uh, I went to the Dollar General, I think, and they had like DVDs. I had like two of them. So there was like Smurf 1, Smurf 2 for like $8. And I was like, oh yes, like she'll totally watch this. And I think I had to like replay that, you know, one and two for her on the way there and the way back. Um, probably watch Smurf 1 and 2 like 20 times, not even kidding. And she loved it. She would watch it every time we got in the car. Um, you know, she just was so content and happy watching her little Smurfs movie. By the way, this is the Airspun Translucent Powder. Um, I'm applying it with my Beauty Blender because I still need to buy more brushes. I have some good powder brushes downstairs, but I just need to wash them and I'm lazy, honestly. So uh, that's why I'm applying it with my Beauty Blender. And I need to wash my beauty blender. Honestly, I just need to get a new one. I showed you guys in my last makeup video what my child does to my beauty blender. And it just looks honestly worse than I did last time. So, I don't even... I have no words. But, um, so far my face is looking really good. I can wear my hands and my nails. They look pretty bad. I'm going to hop right into my blush and my contour. So I have my Milani's Silky Matte Sunkissed number two. Um, this is a really nice matte contour. I really enjoy it and it wasn't too expensive. It was like $8 maybe. And it's like cheaper than like high end and it works just as good. So I have my Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush. This was from like their holiday little minis that they had like little holiday mini ornaments with brushes in them a couple years ago and I love this brush and I got it on sale for, from Walmart for like one dollar which is like insane so um yeah I really enjoy this little brush I don't do heavy contour if you guys watched my first video I said that my first makeup video I said that I didn't do heavy contour anymore and I will feel where my cheekbone is and go right where you know or, or right where your cheekbone is um i feel like it looks the most natural and uh i understand if you want to slim your face out a little more and you'll do your contour a little higher um i hope i didn't offend anybody when i was saying that in my last video because i was like i know some people who do it too high or too low but i wasn't trying to offend anybody i just think there's no right or wrong way of doing your makeup, honestly. So, take everything that I said with a grain of salt. It was my first little talking makeup video, and I was just blabbering on about nothing, honestly. So, um, usually I have a small brush to do this, but uh, I'm just going to do it with this brush. I just pinch it, and then I do it, contour my nose. Just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna finish doing my bronzer and a little bit of blush. The blush I use is my Milani's um, 05 Big Powder Blush in the color Luminoso. So I'm gonna go do my blush and uh, finish my contour and I'll be right back. Alright, so once I have my contour and my blush on, I go a little heavy on my blush because I feel like blush is the first thing that fades on your face. So I went a little heavy. I'm going to grab my Morphe uh, 35XO, I think is what it's called, the Artistry Palette. It's a really pretty, I feel like this is like a Valentine's Day palette. They just came out with it for like Christmas and I just feel like it's not very Christmassy, even though I do really enjoy the colors in this palette. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can you guys see how beautiful these colors are? But I feel like this would have been like a perfect Valentine's Day palette. Um, there is a lot of fallout in this palette, I will say. But for the price 
um, I still really enjoy this palette. I am going to bake under my eyes because I feel like it helps um, catch the fallout. Like, I know I look crazy right now, but um, trust me, like you need to put powder on your eyes or do your eyeshadow first or else it's just going to ruin your makeup. I have this really fluffy brush from Wet n Wild and uh, I'm going to take the color Come Here Often. It's like this just uh, nude, almost like white base color. It's called Come Here Often and I'm going to put that all over my lid. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see a little better on my eyes. All right, I hope this isn't like too zoomed in, but um, I'm going to put this color all over my lid. Usually I use the MAC Painterly Pot all over my lid, but um, I didn't do that today. Okay, so once that is all blended and nice, I'm going to take a small little brush. This is the Morphe. It doesn't even say what kind of brush this is. I don't know. It was like a little, um, it was like a little, can you guys see? It came in like a gift little set for $12, but I'm going to take the color, um, body language i can't show you guys the color body language and hair flip they're both just like neutral browns and i'm going to pat that into my little corner of my eye right here they're not super pigmented i'll be honest but like i said for that price you just can't beat it i'm going to tap into a little bit of met online I do it to the other eye. Body language, hair flip, and a little bit of met online. So I'm going to pat it before I blend it in because I'm really ensuring that I'm getting all of the pigment and I'm patting that into my skin. Wow, my nose contour looks crazy. I'm gonna also use this little tiny mirror so that I can see what I'm doing instead of looking in my viewfinder. But um, I am going to just pat that in. I'm going a little further up into my crease right now. And do you guys already see the fallout under my eyes? It's pretty bad. Um, I love the Anastasia eyeshadow colors, eyeshadow palettes, but um, I just think they're really expensive and not everyone can afford that. So I'm going to tap into Let's Snuggle. Tap off the excess. I'm going to pat that into my crease as well. And do the other eye too. I'm not a big fan of shimmery shades and I'm like, should I do a shimmer just for this video? So I don't know how I'm feeling. Uh, we will see how I'm feeling after this, after I'm done, uh, you know, at the end, I'll see how I'm feeling, if I want glitter or not. So I'm going to take this fluffy brush, and I'm going to make sure it's clean. This is from Morphe, in the same little gift set, and I'm just going to blend in little light circles. Circle motions. I do have a lot of beans in my eyes, so um, as you can see, there's like little lines right here. So it's not, nothing to do with the eyeshadow or the blending. I just, um, it always peeks through. It's just a texture of my eyelids, if that makes sense. No matter what kind of, like if I wear my heavy uh, painterly pot um, eyeshadow primer underneath, it doesn't matter. You're still gonna see my veins. I'm gonna go into You Up, and it's more of like a warm, um, brown color. I'm going to put this into my crease. I'm going to pat it. And I'm going 
do the same thing to the eye. My husband got really quiet and I'm actually really happy right now. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm also going to tap into Let's Snuggle one more time. I'm really going to like try to deepen up this, but also keeping it warm. I'm going to tap into Charmer. Do it one more time with the other eye. And then we're going to blend it out. I'm not going to blend it too much because I want to keep that rich, um, dark color on the ends of my eye. The crease, not the crease, the outer corner. That's what I mean to say, the outer corner. I want to keep it dark right there. So I'm just going to tap it in. Do the same thing to the other eye. Tap, tap, tap. Blend. I always hold my brush at the end, so I have like a super light hand when I'm doing this. And I feel like it helps really to blend. I'm gonna wipe it off on this little towel I have underneath me. So far it's looking really pretty and all the colors are really blended in. I like brushes when they're really like worn down. I feel like they blend so much better. Like I don't like fresh new brushes, that's so just me. I'm gonna take Charmer one more time with a dense fluffy brush. And I'm gonna do a little bit of Matte Online. Matte Online and Charmer one more time into this little crease. And, you know, you do have to kind of work with these colors and build them up, but um, I still feel like it's a good deal. Alright, so I'm going to take that big fluffy brush one more time and I'm going to blend that just so it looks a little more seamless. So my eyeshadow is looking pretty good right now. I am going to take a flat brush right here, as you guys can see, from the same little gift set that doesn't have names. I'm going to go back into Come Here Often, and I'm going to put that in my inner corner and kind of go up because I want it to be really bright and um, you know, I'm not feeling matte. I mean, I'm feeling matte today. I'm not feeling glitter. But I don't know, you guys. We'll see. But you see how it just like really brightens up that inner corner of your eye? I just love it. I think it looks so pretty. Do the same to my other eye. not really pigmented if I don't wet my brush. Um, there we go. There's the pigment that I'm asking for. Can you guys see this? Should I put it on my lid? Dipping to across the room with my finger and I'm going to put that on my lid. It's like a little gold color. Oh, should I do it? I don't know you guys, whatever. I'm going to take this fluffy brush and I'm going to blend.
and it just looks super um, natural kind of like not like a heavy glue if I were to wet my brush um, it would pop a little more but you know I'm not sure I would like that I'm letting the color go up here. Usually I don't like the glitter on my um, crease, but I feel like it helps it blend more. Um, I'm going to wipe off that excess powder underneath. going to take um, my little flat brush again as you guys can see my flat brush I'm going to dip into uh, body language and let's snuggle and just a touch not right now just body language and let's snuggle I'm going to tap that onto my um, lower lash line because like I said there's a lot of fallout I try not to rub too much because I don't want this everywhere. I'm just rubbing this, um, running this across my lower lash line right here. Um, and then I'm going to take my fluffy brush because I don't know where my other brush is. It's smaller than this, but it is a blending brush. I'm going to dip into Met Online and Charmer, the dark colors. I'm going to pinch and run it across my lower lash line. All right, so it's looking really good right now. Um, I am going to, um, Tap a little bit into Charmer one more time and darken this up. Really quickly, I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm gonna keep you guys zoomed in so you can see. I'm gonna curl my lashes, apply some of my false scara. It's actually by Kiss. In my last makeup video, I said that it was by Maybelline, but it's actually by Kiss. So I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes, apply some false scara, and then I'm going to apply some Kiss number 11 lashes. Um, like I said in my last video, if you guys want to know how I apply my lashes, because um, I apply it differently, I apply it underneath my lash line. If you guys are interested in knowing how I do that, then please comment down below and I will show you guys a quick, you know, little tutorial on how I do that and apply my false lashes. I'm going to take my bond. I'm going to do that really quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I applied them under my lashes. I'm going to do the other one and I'll be right back. I'm done applying my lashes. I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows. I um, switched over to the Morphe's 
a little micro brow pencil. I have the color Biscotti and I love it. It's only $5. It's actually cheaper than the one I used to use, which was the um, NYX Cosmetics one. That one's really good too, but I actually really enjoy the formula and the pencil on this. It's only $5, so $5 cheaper than the one I used to use and I love it so much. So I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows and then I'll show you guys my finished look. I'm going to finish my lips on camera to show you what color I use, but uh, I'm going to show you guys when I'm done with my eyebrows. Alright, so I actually uh, went too high with this eyebrow, so I'm going to go back in with my um, BB cream that I was using and quickly go over the top of my eyebrow. Oops, too much. All right, so my eyebrows are done, my eyeshadow is done, my face makeup is done. I'm gonna hop over to my lips really quick. And I'm, first, I'm going to use one of my lip liners. So I'm gonna use the color Sandstorm to line my lips. This is the color, yeah, Sandstorm by NYX. I'm going to line my lips really quick. Alright, so um, I accidentally did this off camera, but I used the color Least Detail by the NYX Lingerie line, and um, I feel like it's a really pretty nude pink lip, and I really feel like it tied in this look together. I'm going to put my earrings back on really quick. Alright you guys, that concludes this little holiday neutral glam makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to give me a like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to comment down below. And I hope you guys all have a great holiday season and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.